I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Fresh Moose here. You're back in the video. Continue to the NBA 2K19 rebuilding video. And today, we're going to be doing a 2020 realistic rebuild. And uh, for today's uh, one, the third in the series, we did the Rockets and the Thunder. Now we're doing the New Orleans Pelicans. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is a very solid team. This has a very bright future. You got Lonzo Ball, Nikhil, Alexander Walker, Juhane, JJ Redick, and a two year deal. Uh, each one more. I uh, also got a young Marcos. Uh, Luzado Silva, I'm gonna say. So he's gonna be spending some time in the G League, 70 overall, 20 years old. Uh, Josh Hart on this team as well. See if he can, uh, see if he can progress a little bit. They got Nico Melli, Christian Wood, and then Jackson Hayes. Because we already have Favors and Okafor, I'm gonna be putting Hayes in the G League. I really wonder how they're gonna do that though, because I mean I don't know what kind of rotation they're gonna run. Because as it is, I'm already running a 10-man rotation. Uh, Lonzo. And Drew Hardy, 30 each. Ingram, 31. Zion, 35. Derek Favors, 26. JJ Reddick, 24. Okafor, 18. Nico Malley, 17. Alexander Walker, 17. And Josh Hart, 12. So, 10 minute rotation for this season. For scoring options, we're going to go Drew Holiday, Zion, and Brandon Ingram. Now, the reason uh, why we're going to be doing uh, Drew Holiday first is I just want to experiment a little bit. I don't think we're going to be doing, you know, fan, have a great season anyway, but they did say, I don't remember who it was, it was either the GM or it was Gentry, something like that. They said that uh, it's it's Drew Holiday's team, not Zion's. So I want to see what, what Drew Holiday can do as number one scoring option. Of course, Zion will be number two. And scoring options, as I found out, don't always mean everything. I'll put some people as my number one scoring option, and, and they, they just disappoint. They don't even uh, leave the team in scoring. So even if it's like... Uh, you know, a high score like Bradley Beal, I've done that before, and a Bradley Beal Thunder rebuild didn't work out as well. Pacing space is the system we're going to be running. Um, for team training, I changed some of this stuff, so it's on high, so hopefully they can uh, do some stuff there. And then distribution, I changed it up a little bit. I don't know what that stuff is quite exactly, but I'm uh, just kind of messing around with it, hoping they can do some stuff. So here's the mentorships we got going on here. Um, not a whole lot you know, to see, but just in case you guys want to see it, since it is a realistic rebuild, I'm doing stuff like this. So, um, yeah, let's move on to. I showed all that. I think all we have left to do is look at the power rankings. And we are ranked 11th. And 2K Sports has us at 18. Mark Spears at 15. Oh my gosh, seriously, Ingram? Well, Derek Favors just got hurt for the whole season. So, what I might do is call up uh, Jackson Hayes here. I'm just going to do that. We're going to let him start getting some minutes. In the first season, James Harwin's MVP, Zion Williamson, Rookie of the Year. Uh, averaging 18 points per game, 12 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks, 51% from the field, 70% from the line, and 30% from deep. We finished with a 42-40 and 40 record. Uh, not bad, not sure if we made the playoffs or not. Buddy Heald most improved. Mike Dantoni gets coach of the year. Good to see that as a new Rockets fan and a Thunder fan, of course. Uh, Russ and Harden put up some solid numbers there. And here is the All-NBA second team. Zion on that. Wow. Okay. All offensive teams. Rudy Gobert and Victor Oladipo. Oh, Oladipo's hurt again. Yeah, I just skipped the rookie teams. My bad. Um, we are okay. Sees the AC. Wow. Okay. Uh, where are we? We didn't make the playoffs. No. Okay. Well, let's look at. I just want to see conference standings. Were we like the ninth seed? Okay, we were the tenth seed. Right outside. So I mean, he's a Western Conference. Not much you can do about that. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not gonna get like a good draft pick. We're just gonna kind of be in between. Kind of eh. So we'll see what happens. Points per game, we were 19th. Defense, on the other hand, we were say eighth, and then point differential 11th. Uh, if we look at player stats, Zion led the way with 18 points per game. We saw his numbers already. Uh, Drew Holiday, 17 points per game, six assists, three boards, about a steal, while shooting 43% from the field, 34% from deep. So kind of rough numbers. There's expecting a little better, at least from shooting percentage. Otherwise, you know the numbers are, aren't bad. Brandon Ingram, 15 points, uh, great season for him. Uh, getting about two assists, three boards, a steal, shooting 35% from deep, 50% from the field. JJ Break, 11 points off the bench, two assists, a steal, 
41% uh, from deep, very nice. 42% overall, though. Uh, Derek Favors in his minutes that he did get to play before he uh, tore his Achilles. He put up a double double, 11 points, 10 boards. Uh, Lonzo Ball, 10 points, 5 boards, 9 assists. Great to see that. 44%. Wow, we, we, we just really shot really bad this year. But 36% from the three point line. So I think we're a pretty good three point shooting team. Just not an overall team. Jackson Hayes, when he came in, 10. Uh, points, six boards, a steal and a block per game, shooting 54% from the field. Jill Okafor, nine points, seven boards and a block. Nico Melli, nine points. Uh, not bad nerves of him. There's Alexander Walkers, Josh Hart, Christian Wood. Hart did get some big minutes and he didn't really produce, so uh, we might do a little bit of shaking up this season. I don't know. Let's see who wins the uh, NBA Finals. Win the championship and Jokic is your Finals MVP. Heading the draft lottery, let's see what pick we end up with. We have the 13th pick in the draft. Not bad, not terrible, but um, yeah, let's get a new assistant coach here. We'll keep Alvin Gentry around. Uh, let's get Garnett. Bring him in. Trainer, we could use a new one. I'll uh, get Nicholas Foster. I don't know why there isn't one that has an A. Alright, so we just traded up to the 6th pick in the draft. Uh, I trade each one more. Our pick. And then uh, like three feature seconds on oh, the heat. The heat hired Ty Lu. Interesting. Uh, wait, did they fire Nick? Oh, wait, what? How did the Grizzlies re-sign Eric Spolstra? That does not make sense. But all right, so we have the sixth pick in the draft. Let's go ahead and simulate to our pick. Cole Anthony's out here. Of course, point guards are out here. That uh, he's signing. We will sign. I guess both. I'll get this guy. I could throw him in the G League. Uh, Press Hatch was a 76 overall, not bad. Uh, we will bring back Silva here, and then uh, let's hop into qualifying offers. I gotta pay uh, Brandon Ingram, unfortunately. Christian Wood, I guess I'll bring back for 2.25 mil uh, if possible. If he gets an offer, I probably won't bring him back, but favors for 10 million. I think we're gonna let him walk because I think it's it's Jackson Hayes time. So we got him. We gotta bring back Oga for though, because uh, he is still pretty young. So. Yeah, I think Nico Melli is fine there. Precious Atua, I think Josh Hart we need to bring back as well. Although, he didn't really put up numbers last year. Do I not have Burp? Where is he? Well, Jill will go for I will pay a solid contract. Give him about three years with a team option. And then, Brian Ingram, we gotta pay big bucks. Well, Ingram has gotta get an offer from the Raptors. We will go ahead and match that. And bring in Okafor, we can get both. So we should be good to go. And we do get both of them, okay. Anybody we want to try to bring in. Let's see, do we have any money? Uh, I don't think we do. Especially since we just paid Brandon Ingram. Okay, yeah, negative 16 next year. We'll have money, but we have to pay Lonzo. And anybody else we have to pay? We have to pay like Josh Hart. Well, here comes the Drew Holiday regression. Goes down to an 83. Zion to an 86. Jackson Hayes all the way up to an 80. I, I look, you might just start him. You know, I probably will. JJ Redick down to a 76. And everybody else, though, is progressing. First untapped potential, I will send Brandon Ingram. He goes up to an A. And then I'm going to send Lonzo, I think. I, mean, I, I kind of want to send, like, Alexander Walker or Jackson Hayes. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it on Lon well, You know what? I'm going to send it to Jackson Hayes. Stays at A minus. The rotation for the second season: Alonzo Ball 30, Drew Holiday 28, Brandon Ingram 30, uh, Zion 34, Jack Nays 28, Alexander Walker 20, Okafor 17, Achua 16, Melly 13, Hart 12, Redick 12. So I'm running a, a very deep bench here. Zion, it's Zion's team now, and uh, he's going to be the number one scoring option. Number two is going to be Brandon Ingram, and then uh, if we take a look at the G League people, we're sending down Frank Jackson and Silva. Uh, I kind of wanted to send this guy. We only have him for another year, so I don't know. I'm just going to send those two guys down there. Um, if we look at what else? Oh, system efficiency. We are pacing space. Only three and a half stars. And then for player mentorships, we have all this going on here. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if I really want to show those two guys every time or what, or you know how I want to do that. But if we look at team training. I'm gonna change this to balance. All right, yeah, I think we're all good there. And then we, if we look at the power ranking for this season, 
The Warriors are one. We're ranked 12th by NBA account. 2K Sports down to 19. Mark Spears at 13. We end in the second season. James Harden wins MVP. James Wiseman rookie of the year. Marcus Sol sixth man of the year in the Hawks. Giannis Spence player of the year. DeAndre Ayton most improved. And David Fitzdale of the Knicks gets coach of the year, interestingly enough. And uh, all NBA first team there is Zion. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I hate when 2K does that. Zion Williamson on the all NBA first team. I'm not expecting anybody else there. Westbrook on the second team. Sound numbers for him again 36% from deep, baby. Uh, Blake Griffin and Cousin. Bro, how do the Hawks have all these dudes on a team? Dang. Uh, Blake Griffin, really? Okay. And RJ Barrett doing some stuff here, okay. Um, Zion on the all defensive second team. Steven Adams on the all defensive second team. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get any rookies. So, oh, well, we did get pressure on to one, did not play. I mean, he played a solid amount for us. We are the four seed and with a 52 and 30 record. Let's look at the team stats on the year. We were the six best, excuse me, six best team in the league as far as record wise. We were third in scoring like defense we were not so hot that was that 12th worst and then point differential we were around nine so and you know not too bad defense needs some help but Zion Williamson uh, we saw some of his or did we I don't know but 34% from deep really making improvements 58% from the field or 57 uh, two blocks two steals five assists 11 boards and Zion's so much of a beast. Uh, Brandon Ingram, 14 points, 2 assists, a steal, 48% of the field. Big big dip in 3-point shooting there, only 31%. Drew Holiday still putting up some solid numbers, 12 points per game. 6 assists, getting a steal, 3-point percentage not the greatest, shooting percentage not the greatest at 43. Jackson Hayes, he's got 2 injuries, you think I care, I'm still playing him. 8 boards, 11 assists, a steal, or no, excuse <laughs> me, uh, 11 points, 8 boards, an assist, a steal in two blocks per game while shooting 56% from the field, 33% from deep. Uh, Press is actually 11 points. Four boards, not killing Alexander Walker with 10 points, three assists. Alonzo with uh, 10 points and 11 assists. Nico Melli, uh, eight points, shot 31% from deep. Alonzo shot 35% from deep. Alexander Walker, 39%. JJ Reddick, only six points, 42% from uh, three point land, though. And Josh Hart, five points. He just, he just doesn't do much in this game, so. Uh, you know, let's take in the Portland Trailblazers here in round number one. And we're down 2 well. Jackson Hayes is back to normal. So now we're going to start winning games again. Right? Yep. Yep, Jackson Hayes is back, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go. Game 7, Simcast time in the first round against Portland Trailblazers. See if we can win this game right here. That's a bad first quarter, but a solid second quarter. Not a great third quarter whatsoever, and we are going to lose. All right, well, we did make the playoffs. Still, Brandon Ingram had a solid game, um, so I'm happy that we did move on. At least we, you know, we kind of got to the, you know, the, the next step of the playoffs. Now the next step for us in year number three is to make that ultimate jump and uh, make the NBA. You know, make the conference finals, make the NBA finals, something like that. So we'll see what we can do. Milwaukee Bucks win the NBA title, and Giannis is your finals MVP. Well, we have the 24th pick in the draft. Uh, let's go to staff signing. I'll keep Gentry around for another season. Uh, there is a very nice train around here, so I'll definitely snag him. Uh, he will sign with us. Uh, let's go to the NBA draft. I guess I'll make my pick. Uh, although, what I kind of want to do is, I don't... Although, Josh Hart's going to be a freaking free agent. Thank you, because I kind of want to move on from Josh Hart. Because he's not really producing. I did sign Drew Holiday to a two-year extension worth only 10 mil. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Nico Melli, what if I trade him and my 24th pick? What could I get? Well, we picked up the following Dante, 74 overall. I might trade him. I don't know. We're going to try to maybe make some moves here this offseason. I'm going to bring everybody back here. Uh, let's go ahead and hop to qualifying offers. Josh Hart, I will bring him back. 26 years old. Alonzo uh, Ball is going to get a big qualifying offer. Uh, I'm going to bring all these guys back. Now, I may look to trade some of them and to try to get maybe like a star shooting guard unless maybe I could pick one up in free agency or something. Does not look like that's going to be possible, though. If you look at shooting guards, the best is our own. So, let's just look at our own positions. We have to pay Alonzo. We have to pay, I mean, JJ Redick. Mm, I think I'm just going to let him walk. And then Josh Hart, I... I'll wait for them to get offers. I'm not going to renounce the rights on them. I'll renounce the rights on Christian Wood, though. I mean, he's a 77, but I don't think I need him. So we got to get these three back. Lonzo's going to get a ball uh, offer from the Knicks. 
so we'll go ahead and do that and uh, move on to the next day day three match Lonzo's and we are all set here Gordon Hayward is a free agent we don't really have any money um, we should have a solid like amount of money to throw like yeah, about eight million but a, a nice solid mid-level exception and uh, yeah well, I'm just gonna wait for them to get offers okay Marcos is about to get an offer that's a lot of money but we're gonna do that now Josh Hart I don't know if he's really gonna get an offer if he doesn't by like day 10 I'm just gonna throw him a deal it's about two years team option All right, he's gonna sign to that so now we look at the team we are looking at Alonzo Ball, Alexander Walker, we got Frank Jackson, 77 overall. Uh, we got Holiday and Silva. Silva's a great shooter for us. Josh Hart, 81 overall. Go Melly. Hmm. I kind of want to move on from. They can keep this guy from the G League, but I want to make a, a big splash at the shooting guard position. So let me see if I can find some. Okay, so we're gonna get Ronnie Hollis, Jefferson, on a deal. Wait, no. Wait, he just, he said he signed with us. So we just made a trade for Victor Aladibo, a big splash to add to this team. Aladibo's getting a little old, so, I mean, you know, he's not getting too, too old, but still, uh, you know, Pacers might be looking to get a little younger, um, and I uh, guess yeah, so we did that trade. Can I look at all transactions? There we go. So we trade Frank Jackson, Josh Hart, Nico Melli, Dante, uh, our young player, and then two firsts. I know this is a realistic reboot, but I think that, that move makes some sense. So obviously he's going to be... I mean, he's 29 years old, but the defense is what we need. We're not exactly a great defensive team. I and mean, we do have, like, Lonzo, and we do have some actually really solid defenders. Zion's a great defender. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to be really good defensively now, and I think we can have the, I think we have the right balance for uh, this team. So Zion's a 90 overall now. Uh, his three point per <laughs> three points going up to a B plus. Um, you can see everybody is progressing. Seth Holiday down to a 77. I want to move on from Holiday, but you know, kind of to make the contracts match and all that. But uh, I kind of want a title with him. We have four training camps. So the first one is going to go to Brandon Ingram. He stays at A. So not free throw. The second one I think I'll send to Lonzo. I wanted to send him last year. I did. So now we got two left. Um, should I send like Precious or should I send somebody like Alexander Walker? Let me look at their potential ratings here who need some help. Um, I know like they're not exactly accurate, but I'm thinking, uh, do I want to send Achua? You know what? I'm going to send him. He stays at A minus. And I'm going to send Zion Williamson to the next one. Stays at A plus. And Hayward, baby. This is crazy. Gordon Hayward wants only 7 million. And I'll sign him to the team. I don't know if he's really going to play, but okay. Here's a rotation for this uh, third and I believe final season. Lonzo Ball, 30 minutes. Victor Aldi with 32. Brandon Ingram, 30. Zion, 34. Jackson Hayes, 28. Alexander Walker, 24. Uh, Silva, 20. Achua uh, with 18. Okafor, 14. Holiday, 10. We're not going to be playing Hayward, but in case of injuries, he's going to be a great uh, piece for us. So anyone overall is kind of chilling on the bench. Pace and space is now up to four stars. Very nice. Uh, we could run maybe like something else, but I think we're just going to stick with the pace and space system. That's worked out pretty well for us. So training, mentorships, I don't really care about these. I guess the CPU does some of them anyway. So um, although I, what I do want to do is Alexander Walker, where is Aladivo? Let's get him with uh, defensive. Can I get him? No, let's finish here. Difficult shots and defensive stopper. Alright. Look at power rankings. You're ranked number two by NBA.com. Two gay sports down to 19. Mark Spears at two. Is here's Drew Holiday with broken ribs. Obviously he wasn't exactly a big part of the big part of the team at, you know right now. But let's go ahead and give Gordon Hayward those ten minutes then. And I'll actually you know what, I'll give him twelve. This team went 67 and 15, 96% team chemistry. Zion Williamson, MVP. Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes, Jane McDaniel, Sixth Man of the Year for the Lakers, Rudy Gobert, Defense Player of the Year, Jason Tatum, Most Improved. And Alvin Gentry, uh, of course, will be Coach of the Year. Zion on the All NBA First Team. The Bonds a little bit hurt there. Uh, we don't think we got anybody else. But Tour Maker, actually, on the All NBA Third Team. Uh, Westbrook on that all defensive second team, Zion on the all, or excuse me, first team. Uh, we got Zion there, we got Westbrook 
course. And then Aldebo, I guess who, you know, Westbrook is definitely on our team, but uh, Aldebo is on the defensive second team. And here are the uh, rookies. Did we, did we get anybody? We did get uh, Silva, uh, 83 overall. So we are the number one seed. And let's look at our stats here. Team stats first. Number one in scoring, number three in defense, number one point differential by quite a bit, uh, big margin there. And Zion Williamson, we saw his stats, 35% from deep, 12 boards. Brandon Ingram, solid numbers, 15 points, three assists, four boards. 50% from the field, very nice. 35% from deep, very solid numbers from him. Victor Aladibo, 15 points, five assists, four boards. A steal while shooting 44% from the field, 32% from deep. And here's Jackson Hayes with 14 and 9. Also a, a steal and two blocks, shoot, shooting 58% or 59% from the field, 12% uh, from deep. Matt Kiel, Alexander Walker, 11 and 4, 42% from downtown, very nice numbers. Uh, Achiwa with 10, 4, 1, 1, 1, and 55% from the field, 39% from deep. Lonzo Ball, 10 assists, uh, 10 points. 44% from the field, 36% from deep. Silva, 8 points, 51% from the field, 39% from downtown. Uh, Gordon Hayward, in his limited minutes, put up 7 points, uh, 2 assists, 46% from the field, 34% from downtown. Here is Okafor with 6 and 5. Holiday, 5 and 2. And uh, that's about it. So let's go ahead and uh, simulate the first round here. See so what we're looking at 1 0, 2 0. I, full, I mean, considering we went 67-15, I fully consider that this team should be able to win it all. Um, no doubt about it. We're taking on the Rockets next, of course. <laughs> of course, we got to take on my Houston Rockets now. And had 1-1, 2-1 Houston. Three, no, we're not doing this, 2K. 3-2. 3-3, baby, let's go. I'm Sim casting this one. Game 7 versus the Houston Rockets. Very great first quarter. Nice second quarter. We're up by 20 plus, and we came back. It, Kyle Lowry. Wait, what? How is Kyle Lowry on this team? What? Kyle Lowry back in Houston for 20 mil. They got money for that? You kidding me? How do they have any money? I got Sharif O'Neal, Fred Van Fleet. What do they do, bro? Why do they have like the whole freaking? Houston Rockets team. They must, that's the reason why they blew a 3 lead. It's because of Kyle Lowry. Uh, we're taking the Denver Nuggets here. We're up 1-0. 1-1. 2-1 on us. See if we can go 3-1. No. Let me show you guys the closeout games here. I forgot before I forget to do that. Neil Winters out here putting 21 up uh, for the Kings. Zion Williamson, 35-14. 3-3-3. And 3, I should say. And total 16 from the field. Uh, 11 free throws there, and Victor Aldebo, 24 points. Ingram, 21. Okafor, 19. Hayes, 15. Lonzo, 10 and 17. Very nice. And uh, closeout game here, Zion, 31. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and simulate this game then against the Denver Nuggets. They go up. Number 6, let's go Simcast this one. It's an important one. Uh, nice first quarter. Nice, eh, not a bad second quarter. We are up here by 7. And it's a close ball game. We're up by a little bit though. We're only up by five. Oh boy. Six point lead. Six point lead once more. Seven point lead. Two minutes remaining. And we should win. And we do. We win by 11. Zion lives in 33, 10, and 6. Alexander Walker 21. Alan Debo 21. Uh, Ingram with 17. Game number seven against Denver here. And we are back at home. And that's a great first half. Nice third quarter, and looks like we're going to run away with this one. And Victor Aladipo led the way with 24. Zion Williamson triple-double with 24, 18, and 10. Precious Dr. 21 points. Silva, 12. Hayes, 11, and 9. Lonzo, 10, and 7. Anchor with 10. And there's the rest of the numbers for the rest of the team. We're taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's see who they have on the team. They added Whitney. They added Nerlens Noel. Excuse me, Kevin Porter Jr. is now uh, better overall. They also got Windler. They got Jeremy Lin. So they just kind of let their players develop, almost like we did, except we kind of made a big move by uh, getting Aldebo. We are up 2-0. We are up 3-0. And we win the championship with a sweep. And Zion Williamson is your final MVP. 28 points per game, 16 boards, 6 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks, 61% of the field, 22% of downtown. And uh, what, a, <laughs> what a series for Zion Williamson there. Let's look at the playoff stats, wrap up this video. Number two in scoring, 
Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five in uh, defense number two in point differential. The Knicks, interestingly enough, were actually really good. It is had a solid bench. That's probably why. Um, and play on player stats here. Zion, 26 a game, 56% from the field, and 37% from downtown in the overall playoffs. Uh, all deep with 17 points. Ingram with 15. Alexander Walker, 11. Hayes, 10. Ochoa, 10. Lonzo, 9 assists, 10 points. Silva with 7. Uh, Okafor with only 4 boards with 7 points. Hayward with 5. And uh, yeah, so this is the roster. Hold on, wait. There we go. Wait, no. There we go. This is the roster that won it all. Uh, very solid team. Zion Williamson up to a 92 overall. And uh, yes, yeah, so this was a great. Uh, great team, really. So if you guys want to see uh, the the settings that I'm using here, at least for the progressions, y'all don't say so. I'm, I'm using 65 regression, 50 progression, so uh, that's the way it is. I turn off these rules here because they're kind of stupid. Um, because, you know, you can't do, like, assign trades. So that's why I turn those off. Although that is more realistic, uh, I do it. I turn it all off when I'm trying to do like a sign trade. Otherwise, I'll have it on like a specific sign trade. I won't just normally just sign players and just flip them right away. So if it's designs, you know, sign trade, then I will do that. And then similar difficulty at 40. I have it at 45 for fantasy rebuilds. So in case anybody's wearing it, just do this at 40 for realistic rebuilds, just because uh, realistic rebuilds are a little bit harder, just because you can't, you know, I mean, you know, Aldebo would be. You know, just you know, you be getting lots of Victor Oladipo, kind of players like that, and the rebuilds. So yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of the reasons why these guys did progress so well, we sent them to a lot of untapped potentials, you know, and they did get heavy minutes, and uh, they played in a great system. Of course, like Zion Williamson, being on a good team is going to make your overall go up a little bit as well. And of course, Drew did progress quite a bit. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, make sure you go ahead and drop a like if you have more content. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.